Hey guys, it's G. I'm not doing a review. I want to break down what equipment we use to make our videos. So for anybody that's kind of looking on and saying, I want to try it, they don't know where to start. Don't worry. Less than a year ago, I was in that spot having no idea where to start, what to do, and what equipment to begin with. So all the stuff that I'm going to show you, I'm going to have a link to Amazon below. Now, the camera and the lens I picked up at an old photography store. So if you happen to go by there, I found ours used both the lens and the camera for 500 bucks. So it was a really good deal and it worked out pretty good. But if you are just wanting to get stuff from Amazon, which also have some really good deals, all the links for the stuff that we use, at least the core stuff, is going to be in there. So let's start off with the camera. We use the Rebel T3i camera, Canon. Works pretty good. Uh, that's what I'm shooting on, what we've always shot on. It's pretty solid, some pretty easy settings. It's got the flip display to make sure everything's still looking on track. Hair's looking good, everything's looking good, great. And it works pretty well, like I said, super simple features. You can attach your microphone to it, which I'll get to in a minute. Um, not too complicated. The only negative I would say, it only shoots for about 11 and a half minutes at a time, depending on what you're shooting. The data just doesn't buffer as quickly as some of the newer stuff. If you are wanting to spend a little bit more coin, get some of the newer stuff, you're probably able to be a shooter for longer and you have less editing to do because we got a ton of editing that we do for the most part so if you keep it under 11 minutes you'll be just fine you'll get your one video you don't have to mess around with different files uh, and then you can edit as you like the microphone we use is a road shotgun mic this guy right here uh, video micro compact on camera microphone from Rode. Everyone loves Rode. I am now a big fan of Rode. I don't actually think it's called a shotgun mic. I think the other one is. Um, but yeah, this little guy works really well. It's got a little fuzzy thing on the outside and it's got the actual microphone with the shock mount. Uh, works really good. Takes some pretty decent audio. I usually do a lot of post anyways um, just because I want to add, make sure that the audio is a little bit more crisp. Kind of like I'm talking right into your ear. But goes into the mic, does its job. Really cool. Lighting. Uh, lighting is a big thing that I didn't realize. Uh, we've I, I've changed in the menu settings on the camera. It's not the regular auto lighting. I've changed it to something else, and I use a PBL lighting kit. That's a, it's PBL lighting studio kit. Easy. Again, in the description below. I got ours for about eighty bucks. It came with two of them. Anthony's got his at his place. Um, I use this one because I found since we've been doing just reviews or primarily reviews, we only need the one. And a really cool tip that a friend of mine who is a professional photographer said always position it above everything and pointing down towards you because it shapes your face and makes you look really good because the camera does add at 10 pounds you can imagine what I probably look like without this beautiful lighting so when you're pointing it down it kind of gives you a fading effect around so as you can see from the corners in it's like a little bit darker 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 and then you can see what you need to see as it's pointing there uh, again relatively inexpensive uh, I couldn't find the exact ones anymore but I do have a link to some other ones they're about hundred and nineteen dollars I think now but it's a solid lighting kit if you get to you get some solid lighting I used to use the two I just wanted to focus it a little bit and give it more of a darker feel to it and then in terms of editing, I always put it into a program called Shotcut. Uh, it's free. You can find it relatively easily um, for Mac or Windows. It doesn't have the same support as something like a Final Cut or Adobe Premiere Pro, and we are looking at upgrading to those. Uh, but for the time being, if you're starting out, it works pretty well, and it's got some pretty decent features on there to make you know video. And then when I'm doing my audio, I usually copy the actual video and then I open up an audio track and then I extract the audio so I can put it into Audacity and then render the audio so it's a little bit crisper, fuller and all that stuff. So that's essentially it. That's our setup. Nothing too crazy there. Nothing that you can't do. Obviously, I've got a tripod here because this thing isn't floating, which would be amazing though. Like Toad in Mario 64, just like scoping around taking video, that'd be amazing. I should probably invest in a floating mushroom. So yeah, if you have any questions on any of the stuff, you can tweet at me at the F words G on Twitter, of course, you can email us at the F word podcast at gmail.com. Uh, make sure you're following entertain facts on Instagram. And if you're into audio stuff, we've got audio content on anchor. And it's also on Spotify, I believe, uh, Apple music, radio tune. So slowly rolling that out. But until next time, I wish you guys luck. I hope this video helps you because uh, it definitely helped me and the other videos that I watched. So kind of just trying to give back to the community. And if you do decide to go with this setup, I would love to hear from you on how it's working out because that would just be the best. I'm G and I'm out.